The President of the United States is showing he is ready to go it alone in the face of a divided Congress. Barack Obama vowed in his State of the Union address to use executive orders to keep his agenda on track. And that includes helping Americans, he says, are just working to get by or not working at all. Thank you. Today, after four years of economic growth, corporate profits and stock prices have rarely been higher. And those at the top have never done better. But average wages have barely budged. Inequality has deepened. Upward mobility has stalled. Obama is planning to sign an executive order to raise the minimum wage for federally funded employees. He is urging Congress to pass a bill that does the same for all Americans and is calling on lawmakers to restore unemployment insurance to 1.6 million people. The president also urged Congress to close loopholes in the tax code, he says, punish businesses that invest in the U.S. and send jobs overseas. And he said if lawmakers are serious about economic growth, they need to fix what he calls a broken immigration system. The Democrat-controlled Senate passed a bill last year that included a path to citizenship for the estimated 1.1 million undocumented immigrants in the U.S. Lawmakers in the Republican-controlled House of Representatives are opposed to the legislation. President Obama has been facing a low approval rating. Analysts say he's taking a strong stance to build up voter support for the Democrats ahead of the midterm elections in November.